Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I kind of wanted to show you the speed make of when I was doing the Adams Family Family. So at the beginning you saw Gomez, you saw Morticia, and Wednesday, Pugsley, and uh, Fester. So now I'm just kind of working on Grandmama Adams. This one took me a little bit because I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with her hair. And even finding like all the clothes and everything for these guys, oh my gosh. I was looking for custom content for about three or four hours. It was awful. Um, I do end up going with that other hair that you saw before, that one there. Um, and then obviously trying to find the right skin overlay to where she looks old, but still, you know, a little bit psycho, as we all know <laughs> that she is. Um, trying to get to where she, it looks like she's been up for a while. And you know, the more I think about the movie, especially, I don't remember Grandmama ever sleeping. So that's kind of the new thing. Um, so as you can see, um, it's the, uh, I'm just, of course, going through and seeing if I like any of the makeup or anything that's in on her eyes, and obviously I'm not seeing anything, so, um, I think I just end up not giving her any makeup at all. Um, I might even go back and give her some, I don't know. Um, I was thinking about giving her red eyes, but I ended up not. Um, obviously trying to find her outfit as well that actually seemed like it was for the movie. I was thinking that dress would actually not look too bad, but it ended up not working very well. So I end up kind of searching around a little bit and seeing if I could find anything. Um, obviously not too fancy, not too revealing, especially for Grandmama, you know. Um, I was trying to see if I could use that skirt, but it didn't work. So I ended up going with this black one and that sweater. I figured that would be good for her, um, just because it seemed like it fit. I wanted to try and find her a cape of some sort, but I never did find one, so, um, as for, I think I kept her outfits all the same all the way across, but maybe I'm wrong. I might have, it's, I did this like last week sometime. So, um, just trying to go through and make sure that I find like the right outfit, make sure her eyes are there and, um, obviously all of the other skin details stayed there, which is good. I was glad for that. Um. I really wanted to give her those eyes because they kind of seem like snake eyes, but I ended up not doing it. Um, I do remember those gloves um, being fingerless. I do remember her having that um, in the movie as well. Um, I'm trying to keep all of her outfits the same as much as I can, especially black, just because that's her, you know. Um, the whole Adams family is actually black. Um, I even think that I kept her skirt and everything the same. Um, now here, I believe this is Lurch. This was the big tall guy. Um, him was a little bit easier to create. I had, obviously, when I was doing everybody, I had pictures of them in front of me. So I was kind of debating on what I wanted to do for Lurch because I knew he had like a thin head and he was really tall, had really bushy eyebrows, but not unibrows. And then, obviously, trying to find the right hair. I knew it was black and kind of slicked back. He had a big nose, which you can see. I was trying to make him sad. 
Um, but you can see in the traits is gloomy. I actually do go in and change it because the sadness was driving me nuts. Him and Morticia being depressed and gloomy. Oh my goodness gracious heavens sakes alive. It was annoying. I couldn't get um, Morticia and Gomez to flirt whatsoever, which was very annoying. So I ended up removing that and giving them something else. I do remember him working on the vines. So that's why I put him as being a gardener. Um, I was also, right here I was looking at the picture to see if I could um, figure out the blackness underneath the eyes because I wasn't sure if it would actually work or not or whether it was even the right color. Um, but obviously I do end up changing it and it ends up being the right color. Um, I was also going to do the speed build of the house but four hours just it doesn't work that well so I ended up not doing it at all. Um, if you guys are curious, then I will post it, but otherwise I'm just going to delete it just because it's really not worth it to me, I guess, to do the speed builds, um, especially on something that big, because I had to do it in three takes. It took me a little over eight hours to do it all because I was trying to make sure that I had the right content for it and make it look the way I wanted it to. Yeah, the clown shoes, you guys. He has big, big old feet. And when I saw how skinny he was, especially for those, I was like, oh my goodness, look at that. I'm not even sure that he's actually that big or not. Um, but I could see the chest was for a female. And so I do end up going in and trying to figure out what overlay it is because it's not supposed to be that way. So I do end up going through to see if I can figure out what one it was. And I did find it. It was that one. So I do apologize for that. It did take me a few minutes to kind of figure out where it was coming from. So we are actually coming to the end of this speed make. I just end up going back through and making sure that Lurch's outfit and his shoes match the way that it's supposed to. So I apologize all the jumping around. Um, this is Gomez. I actually ended up changing his uh, mustache and kind of making sure that his ears were right. So I go through them all so that you can see them. There's the whole family. Um, I was trying to find the right picture to put them up on the gallery. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and to shoot me a like so that you remember all of the content. See you guys next time. Bye.